today we are going to discuss about the software engineering chapter one of the most important topic that is functional requirements versus non functional requirements so let us first understand the functional requirement i will read the definition first a functional requirement is a description of the service that the software must offer it describes a software system or its component a function is nothing but inputs to the software system its behavior and output so after reading out this definition what conclusion that we have drawn out what have we understood after reading this definition so a functional requirements is the minimum requirement that should satisfy by your software so when you will be asked to develop a software by the client the client expect a list of requirements from the software those are the functional requirements let's say the client have asked you to develop a library management system so the client will tell you about the requirements the business rules which you have to implement there should be some constant all these thing will be informed by the client to the developer right so being a developer you need to incorporate all these requirements to satisfy the client so all this requirement must meet the software must provide all these requirements which the client will ask for so all these are the functional requirement let me explain you in detail that about the library management system if the client had asked you to develop a library management system then what the library management system software will do it will keep record of all the books the author name and the staff and the students who will take those book right and the date when the books are being taken and the date when the book will be returned all these thing will be recorded in a database and the software will manage all those thing right so it should meet this criteria and this will be informed you by the client when you will be asked to develop the library management system the client will tell you all these thing formally so these are the functional requirements let me give you a list of example of the functional requirements so you can see the business rule let's say about the library management system right there must be some business rule or you can say the constant which you have to incorporate in the software if any student or any staff or other candidate return any book after the time let's say after crossing the due date then will there be any penalty charges then how much charges that should be taken from that candidate so this is a business rule which you need to incorporate in the library management system and that will be informed by the client to the developer right now you can see transaction corrections adjustments and cancellation so in any given application there will be a transaction and correction will be required for any transaction right so if if the transaction or the correction happen how that is to be done your option should be given over there by which this can be incorporated adjustment and cancellation all this option has to be exercised in the software and that will be informed to you by the client administrative function so there should be some administrative function authentication right that proper authentication is required for the software right authorization level that who is going to access the software is it from the administrator side is it from the client side is it from the normal user side proper authentication level should be incorporated in the software authentication 
that is very important thing that unauthorized access should be prevented to access the software audit tracking external interface how the external interface should look like what are the requirement that has to be incorporated or that has to be designed for the external requirement to solve the purpose of the external part of the software certification requirement so if you develop any software which is related to a exam system where it is required to provide certification then certification requirement that will be informed you by the client reporting requirements that means software must generate different kinds of reports so what are the reports what are the requirements of reports what are the varieties of reports that the client will inform the developer that this thing is our requirement so all these are categorized under the functional requirement historical data that means the data which is not new the old data will those data will be saved or those data will be deleted so depending on the requirement the software will be developed so all these uh, requirements will be informed by the client to the developer during the process of software developing right so all these are categorized under the functional requirement now let us discuss about the non functional requirements so first i will read the definition after that i will explain it to you the non functional requirements are the requirements that specifies criteria that can be used to judge the operation of a system rather than specific behavior so they are constant with functional requirements that define specific behavior or functions so what have we understood after reading this definition the non functional requirements will not be informed by the client side right it is not a specific criteria that has to be formally written or that has to be formally informed by the client side it is a related requirement which will relate to a functions with the functional requirement to specify behavior of a function right it will define a specific behavior of function so let me explain you in detail right with a example so pid right you have developed a application let's say of a hospital management system now assume now the doctor from the application has to find out a report for of a patient that if there are any allergic behavior of the patient on any given medicine that has to be checked out from the application now let's say the application is not working properly or it is taking enough time if it takes time let's say one or two minute to give the or you can say to generate the specific report of the client so that is quite dangerous the client may expire during that period that means you have to make the software efficiently working so that when the requirement arise to see any data or to generate any report that will comes out within a span of 1 or 2 second not more than that so you have to ensure speed of the software so the client will not going to tell you that my software should run at this speed right by the time you are developing the software you have to keep in your mind being a developer you have to keep this thing in your mind right the user will not going to inform you about the speed so in case user is using the software if the user face problem then the user will come and inform you that you have not developed a proper efficient workable software right and you can see the response to the command that means when you will give a command to the software how long it is taking to respond right if it takes 5 minutes to respond that means 5 minutes is enough right the client will tell you that 
what kind of software have you developed i could have done the thing manually with uh, five minutes then why do i require the software right if you can't process my job within a second then why do i need the software the client will come and tell you so the response time of the software is very very important i will give you same example uh, as a hospital management system if you had to get a report of a patient if it takes time to get a report of a patient let's say five minutes or more the patient could be in much more dangerous situation right so you need to develop the software which will take a minimum response time now let me explain you about the security so you have to ensure the security of the software this falls under the non-functional requirement the client while they will be asking to ask the while they will ask you to develop the software the client will not come and tell you that my software need to be secure enough so that outsider will not going to check the uh, important or you can say very crucial data right so that you have to ensure by yourself right being a software developer you have to ensure security and the portability what does the portability means that the software should be portable enough to carry away. if requirement arise the user will install the software in some other device so that should be portable it is not that it will be installed in one system if requirement arises the software can never going to be carried in other system that should not happen right the software must be portable if requirement arise the software will be installed to any other device right compatibility right so you can't develop a software which will only support on desktop right the software must support on desktop laptop tablet mobile phone right that is compatibility that it should support in more than one number of devices so you don't know when requirement will arise the user might be accessing the same software from other device so that is compatibility capacity of the software if you have designed a database which have limited capacity if the capacity is full then further data will not be inserted in the database right that problem should not arise you have to keep in your mind that there should be endless data in the database so you have to create a database or the software in such a way that the capacity will never be a hindrance right reliability that is very very important right software reliability environment that is also important localization right so these are all the examples of non-functional requirements the client will never going to tell you about this non-functional requirements because being a layman user the client never going to have these ideas so this is from the developer ends we have to ensure all these functions these are categorized under the non-functional requirements right so all this you have to keep in your mind before you write the answer for the functional requirement versus non-functional requirement i hope i have successfully made you understand right about the difference between functional requirements and non-functional requirements so if these questions come in your exam you can easily get good marks thanking you for watching this video till the end my dear friend if you like this video then please you click the like button and share this video with your friends that will motivate me to create more such videos and don't forget to subscribe the channel